this is Prometheus giving you another draft championship play, game play. Just came off of a tough loss in overtime. Um, I'm actually a couple of games away. I'm going to be using a Cleveland playbook, in particular the I-Form Twins, Strong Close. Wide trips, halfback weak, and the gun doubles. Uh, on defense, going to be using a 34 bear, and hopefully it will be fairly effective. Playing against Graves, 420. He's got a headset, so I don't know what's going to get picked up on the mic on his side, so I apologize if it's garbled or if it's kind of annoying to hear him. <laughs> And not a good return, only took it up to the 18-yard line. So once again, I'm going to go into my base offense, which is going to be the I-Form Twins. I'm going to flip the play, uh, but base, I'm going to do the halfback, uh, the fullback. It looks like he's in a quarters defense. And uh, his defensive tackle, he's on. I was able to go ahead and stop that inside run by the fullback. So he's probably into some kind of a nickel bear. Let's go into the halfback toss. And flip the play. There you go. Charles on the outside. And he almost gets a hit stick fumble right there with his, uh, his uh, uh, secondary guy. So that was actually a nice play for him right there. So let's go into strong, uh, strong close, and we're going to go ahead and hit him with a quick toss. I'm going to flip the play. I do full back or uh, dive, and unable to find the hole because I was holding down the turbo. I lost control of my running back because of that. One of the uh, just a just a bad uh, thing that I do when I play this game is holding turbo. Going to go into doubles and take my tight end and put him in a slot. Do an inside zone. And I have to snap the ball because it just didn't get it off real quick. But look at the blocking right there to be able to get the ball up so close like that. So, third and one situation to go in the I form and do fullback dive. And he runs commits, but I'm able to go ahead and get a first down with the good player with Watson at fullback. I'm going to go back to doubles, but this time I'm going to come out of skinny posts. And slant up my tight end. I'm going to take Irvin and put him on a streak. There you go. Jeffrey's over the middle, and I just tried to go ahead and hold down on it. He actually took his defensive back and pulled down. Nice pass by a Cutler to get over the defense. I'm going to go back to the halfback toss again. Look at the blocking with the toss. It's just such a good play. Just because the defensive backs just don't react to it at all. I'm going to go to the quick toss again. Ah. And my defense, my, uh, my fullback didn't pick up the correct block on that. This time I'm going to come out of a passing play. I'm going to do the uh, tight end option. There you go. Nice catch by Irving on a little uh, post corner route. Um, I probably threw the ball a little bit too late, but he was bringing a blitz in right there, so I had to go ahead and, and take advantage of that. So a bad kick by me, very good return. He got the ball to the 30. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and stay uh, with my base defense, and let's just go ahead and hit him with, let's stay with the buck, uh, strong safety three.
and he just caught the ball right over my defensive back. I was playing the... <sighs> just caught me right over the top uh, with the coverage. I was actually playing uh, the uh, wide receiver, and, and he did not make any kind of a play whatsoever on that. This blitz is not set up correctly. There you go. Threw right into me. Uh, and I was able to go ahead and pick it off. Grud play by my defensive back to go ahead and get the interception. So he looked for the hole, and I'm able to go ahead and get a good play right there. So got the ball on a four-yard line. Got to have to have effective um, play right here uh, to uh, keep him honest. Stay with the skinny posts. Go to inside zone. There you go. Picked up some pretty good yards on the back cut. I'm gonna come out of mesh. And able to go ahead and hit the tight end on mesh because uh, he was in man coverage right there. So that works for me. Back to the fullback dive. run commits I guess those guys just just came right in Ugh. Ugh, just I uh, got rid of that ball uh, it's too slow his guys fell back in the coverage you wanted to cover two so this guy's pretty smart smart player I'm gonna go into bunch off sets and base play I'm gonna pick is curl flats. Get up. Get up. Let's see if he takes a timeout. I don't want to give him a short field that's gonna put him in um in uh if, uh, or basically field goal territory so let's go ahead and just get rid of the ball not a very good kick right there put it on a 34 yard line not good at all all right so let's go back to our base blitz which is going to be uh, the pitch dog three And the clock keeps moving against them. He's able to go ahead and break, uh, break and run in the backfield for a lucky uh, play. Good read. There you go. Uh, he wanted to slant, uh, and that messed him up because I wanted to cover to invert. Nice play. Nice play right there. I uh, able to get the ball off. The pressure was coming off the edge, and he got lucky with that with the uh, with the uh, slot flood. So he blocked the running back right there. Good decision. And frees them up on the coverage right there, jumping into the coverage against his reads to the out.
And I got the pressure off the edge right there. Fourth and 18 situation. He's going to go for it. There you go. Nice pick off right there to go ahead and stay on top of him. Uh, the coverage just basically, if you didn't know what to do with it. So 30 seconds left, three timeouts. I have enough time to be able to move the ball down the field. Uh, let's go into uh, my favorite formation in this Cleveland playbook, which is the gun doubles. There you go. Right in field goal range, just lob streaked him right up. And they will be able to go ahead and get into field goal range uh, to get my opportunity to go up by two scores right there. So I'll go ahead and take that. He's probably gonna go ahead and stay into uh, some kind of um, uh, zone defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and with a draw and hopefully I'll be able to go ahead and get some effective uh, running here. Gonna fix some audibles. And he actually goes into blitz. <laughs> now he's out of bounds. He was completely out of bounds right there. Amazing. Amazing. He caught the ball in the end zone. He went into under smoke blitz right there. So good call by him. Did I catch that inbounds? No, out of bounds. So I'm going to take the points. I didn't want to do anything stupid right here uh, to give up any opportunity to go up by another score. And pick up my points. All right, so up on my opponent, uh, 10 to nothing. I uh, didn't really have enough time to go ahead and finish off that drive uh, based on just the, uh, the, uh, the turnover I was able to go ahead and get. Uh, kicking ball off, going to kick off left. My opponent's able to get the ball on a 20. I just realized I didn't flip. I was able to go ahead and flip my defense, so I should be able to get better edge pressure. Right there, it's a nice crossing route right there. Yeah, I wasn't able to get the blitz set up. He's gonna take off this quarterback. Smart play. So I just I just couldn't get the blitz set up. That's one of the things with this. Okay, so he's doing Hail Mary Trio. There you go. Nice play right there by my, my safety. Actually, he's been cleaning up for me with interceptions. So he went at a Hail Mary trio as his base play. And the game just froze. And he quits out. 
So I get my opponent to quit out against uh, my scheme. Uh, I was getting a lot of lucky breaks in the secondary. Uh, my safety is able to go ahead and get a couple interceptions, but uh, my opponent quit out. Uh, he's just struggling against my defense. He was jumping into some pretty hectic games, but able to go ahead and get into uh, a draft championship uh, opportunity with this scheme. So Cleveland scheme book, the playbook is actually fairly effective, uh, and I've been having pretty good luck with that 34 bear defense. So to my subscribers, I really appreciate the support. I hope you learn from this. I'll be rolling out Madden 17. Um, if you haven't seen the announcement already, um, I'm actually going to be a part of Yut Gaming. I'm going to have a network of players that we're going to be sharing tips and strategies and you can find it at the yutgaming.com website uh, that will be at the bottom uh, of the tag right there you want to go in and take a look at some of the stream uh, some of the techniques and strategies i'll be sharing it for, for madden 17 and you can take a look at some of the guys that i'm associated with with yut gaming these will be rolling out their own tips and strategies too to all my subscribers thank you for the support until next time